Welcome to ACC Soccer Weekly. I'm your host, Jeff Michelle. Coming up, Travis Clark of TopDrawerSoccer.com stops by to break down a top five men's matchup this weekend. But first, there's a new number one in college soccer. The latest NSCAA men's rankings were released on Tuesday. North Carolina has the top spot. Previously ranked fourth, the Tar Heels earned the top spot with wins over Monmouth and a ranked Coastal Carolina team and help from losses to the top three, Indiana, Maryland, and Georgetown. Also on Tuesday, North Carolina star Crystal Dunn and Virginia's Morgan Bryan helped the U.S. women's national team defeat Mexico 7-0 in a friendly. The game was especially significant for the Cavaliers' junior, Bryan, who scored her first career goal for Team USA in the 72nd minute, just two minutes after she came into the game. Some great women's action begins tonight as number 19 West Virginia travels to number 12 Duke. Number 3 UCLA faces the top ranked Tar Heels. Yes, the Tar Heel women are ranked number 1 as well. Sunday there are three more matches between ranked teams to whet your appetite. On the men's side, the 17th ranked Syracuse Orange open ACC play tonight in Blacksburg, while 13th ranked Maryland looks to rebound as they take on Duke. Saturday, the Demon Deacons travel to Chestnut Hill and the matchup everyone is watching. The Tar Heels putting their number one ranking on the line as they take on the fourth ranked Fighting Irish. Now here to give us his tale to tape on this crucial ACC matchup is Travis Clark, staff writer and editor for TopDrawerSoccer.com. Okay, Travis, let's begin with the goaltending. North Carolina's Brendan Moore versus Notre Dame's Patrick Wall. Who has the edge? I'm going to go with Patrick Wall. Uh, he has a little bit more experience than Moore, who stepped into the starting goalkeeper role this season for the Tar Heels after the loss of Scott Goodwin. So neither of these guys are long-time established starters, but you got to give the edge to Notre Dame in this one. Yeah, Goodwin was fantastic last year for the Tar Heels. Let's turn to defense. Whose back line is better? Well, when you look at these two teams, both of their strengths, I think, lie in the back line. You got two really good uh, center back pairings, uh, Boyd Okuonu, also known as O.C., and Jonathan Campbell for the Tar Heels against uh, Grant Van de Castile, uh, who partners with Andrew O'Malley when O'Malley's healthy. So it's real hard to tell, but I'm going to go with the Tar Heels. Uh, Okuonu has some international experience, and I think they only let in about seven goals last season. So that combined, uh, you know, that gives them a little of the edge. Okay, let's move to the midfield now. Which side has the edge there? It's an interesting sort of debate because teams play different formations. North Carolina plays at the 4-3-3 three in the midfield, and have some new pieces in Omar Holness, Alex Olofsson. And I like uh, Notre Dame's Nick Bessler in the 4-4-2. That gives him a little bit more of an advantage. you got four players in the midfield. We talk about these teams having a good amount of experience on both sides, but which team has the better forwards? Uh, up front, there's a lot of changes for the Irish because you lost Ryan Finley from last year. They're going with the seniors, Leon Brown, uh, Alex Pretty, and Harrison Ship up top. But what gives the Tar Heels the edge is transfer Tyler Angle, who has showed well so far in two, in two games after coming over from SMU after last year. Notre Dame did outscore opponents in the second half 36-6 to last year. Okay, let's look at coaching. North Carolina's Carlos Samuano versus Bobby Clark. Which side has the edge there? I'm going to lean to experience for this one. Bobby Clark has been a college soccer coach since 1985, save for a couple year breaks in the mid-90s. He's, you know, he's been at the helm of Stanford and Dartmouth, and now obviously the, uh, the Irish. So he gets a little bit of the edge over Carlos Samuano, but Samuano has the, uh, the national championship from 2011 you know, to kind of strut it out there. However, Clark knows how to adjust and knows how to work the college game, you know, bring in new freshmen, that sort of a thing. So the slight edge there goes to Notre Dame. All right, Travis, should be a great one. Number one, North Carolina, number four, Notre Dame. You can watch it this Sunday, noon Eastern on ESPNU. And that is ACC Soccer Weekly.